Hello, welcome back. It's been a few days. It's been Christmas. That's okay. We are doing a Judas run to Mega Satan. This is going to be fun. Um, we haven't done a decent Judas run for a while. Judas is a very strong starting character in the opposite way that Maggie is weak, I suppose. He has very poor HP. Excellent damage, especially with the Book of Belial here. Now, it used to be that the Book of Belial... I probably should have used it on the stream, shouldn't I, really? It used to be that the Book of Belial would guarantee you a deal with the devil, which means that Judas would always have deals with the devil uh, on every floor where it's possible to get one. However, uh, having only one HP, that's obviously not uh, too likely to be something you can take advantage of on every single floor. Now that it doesn't guarantee you one, that's sort of taken a little bit of the do I don't I away from the game. I think I... Uh, well, I'm going to use it here because these can scare me. Um, you know, you, you don't have the... don't necessarily have the choice of whether to spend your single health point uh, on, on said deal. And of course... oh, we should definitely take this actually. Now is it better? That's a good question. Uh, I think it may be. Styles card. Uh, I'm going to take it. I think many people would probably stick with the Book of Belial for the damage bonus. Should probably use the Book of Belial for the uh, boss, but I don't think we can now, actually. Never mind. Um, but since it doesn't have the deal with the devil thing going on anymore, it's not as brilliantly amazing as it used to be. Wow, I'm missing terribly badly on all these shots. Uh, this could be very. This could be the end of our run. This could not last long at all. I'd like to get rid of both parts with equal. Uh, bigger, to be honest with you. Uh, the one part because it's making explosions, and the other part because it's going to shoot us. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> Eleven thousandth. There was so much potential in that. I kind of want to play it again just for practice. Let's play it again, see if we can get anywhere. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, we'll practice it. This obviously won't count to our real score, but... Uh, I want to be able to try and beat that boss. That is a very, very difficult first floor boss for um, for not being able to be hit on. Obviously, if I'd done it right, I would have had the Book of Belial. And this is not seeded. And now it's a two of diamonds. So, in fact, we could have got something amazing from that. Uh, but we didn't. <laughs> So we know now that, in fact, we could have uh, received... Is there any point going? Yes, there is point going this way. We know now we could have received a really, truly amazing card, or even a spirit heart. Wow, well done. From uh, that particular... Uh, from that item. From the crystal ball. But we didn't. So I expect a lot of people who did well may have simply had the spirit heart that I was hoping for. Um, when I took the crystal ball in the first place, so a bit hit and miss. Again, that's one of those uh, one of those things about randomness. It's a seem that some people may have taken and some people didn't. And if we had, for example, had this opportunity, we still can't get hit now. But I mean, are we more likely to fail or succeed as a result of this? We can certainly get rid of one of these two parts much faster. So you see. If I had also had a spirit heart, I would have been much more confident <laughs> that this particular enemy and we may actually have been able to uh, achieve the goal, which we did. And I don't want that either, but I do want this. So I'm going to stick with the Book of Belial because obviously having that extra damage is doing as well. But I'm a little bit upset that, of course, this is not our real run. This is just a practice to see how well we could have done had we known what we were getting ourselves into. Headless Horseman, though. As a first blood boss, I think it's probably the hardest. Especially with base damage. I imagine if it had been a Maggie run, I would have been super salty. But, you know, we're getting back into the swing of things. I may do a, an individual normal run, just an unlocks run on the main series there. After this, just... Oh, look. <laughs> it's all spacebar items, and I don't want any of them. Uh, just to keep playing, you know. Maybe I'll just play on my own. I do. I am aware, actually, that I've recorded a run. Really? <laughs> Look at this. These are the two hardest bosses not to take damage against. With the one uh, character with whom you have to not take damage against these bosses. With. There we go. Dead. Alright. I'm going to actually play a run. 
Uh, we did beat Satan with Kane, so I'll probably upload that at some point. Uh, but we'll do a Laz uh, an Eze's or run just to get the taste out of my mouth. Um, I haven't uploaded that run yet, so suck it. Oh, right. I'm just doing this. It's a palate cleanser. It's been a few days since I played the game. It's been Christmas. It's been a poor start to my return to the uh, to the game. So, you know what? Let's have a bonus run at the end of today's daily, which anybody who watches it will be pleased to discover. Azazel, Azazel. Well, we've got the full card, as we know. This will get us out of the curse room. If and when that is necessary. We've got 8 cents, which could buy us something. We've got Curse of the Blind, so we don't know whether we're going to want the thing that we get from the boss. <clears throat> I can't imagine that there will be anything that this first rule of boss could give us that we don't want. Um, even if it's HP, that's just useful for the next floor's deal with the devil, I guess. We're doing better than we did last time we did Azazel. There's no pressure, I'm just playing for the hell of it. Don't have to play for points, don't have to play for time. Have to play for glory. Already <laughs> ruined the glory play. Uh, I, I guess the space where my glory was supposed to be. Well done. Do that again. Would be my my glory hole. Then. <sighs> I tried to make a joke involving the word glory whilst fighting Monstro, and it just didn't. Oh, there is HP as well. Might as well fill it. There we go. No, not my. My glory hole, I mean, that meant the HP container. Please, no curse of the blind. Burning basement 2 is fine. We didn't find a curse room, did we, on the previous floor? A full card. <laughs> Great. That was worthwhile. I'd be appreciative of the exploration points uh, had we been playing a points based challenge run, but we didn't. I could do a challenge run, actually. Why didn't I think of that? Since we failed at the daily challenge run, we should obviously just do the actual ch challenge runs. There's loads of them, and uh, we haven't done any of them on the channel yet. Uh, if I could get actually Pete to ever play again, we may do, but... Thinking of just doing this game solo for a while, until Pete has more important things than just the allotment to help out with. These, um, these little dips here, not very... Not very challenging, but they can really control the space. You see how I nearly dodged backwards into one just now? Probably the hardest part of the dingle fight is when those dips that you ignore for such a long time end up in, in a, a part of the room that you think it's safe to dodge into and you don't. So easy to not notice. Things like that. After a few days off, I think I've got some of my Isaac Fu back. I noticed I was slumping. It's true. Uh losing focus. Pre preliminarily. Primarily losing focus. Uh, which is easy to do. I think I will open this, being as it is I have. A uh, I think I've got focus back. Not been staring at screens for the past week. Eee. It's a certain quantity of not not using computers. Which sort of in it improves your tolerance for using them again. Well, I <laughs> didn't realise what I was doing until it was too late to not be doing it. If you'll uh, accept that excuse. Let's go in here. Polyphemus. Does this help us? I expect it increases our damage and massively increases our charge time, which seems to be at least half true. I can guarantee that much. Boss? We can clear rooms a lot faster. I don't think I want to do that just yet. I suspect that file will hurt. Ah, oh, we can definitely think about the shop as well. That's a lot of cash right there. Have a look in here. Small run. Spirit heart. Fine. Uh, our devil deal will, of course, cost us spirit hearts. Uh, sorry, red hearts, not spirit hearts, because we have red HP. I do not feel good about wasting an entire charge on not very much stuff right now. Maybe I can get all these in one go. Because the, uh, oh, <laughs> it's really slow as well. We need a tears upgrade desperately. Because it takes so long to charge, we have to use the entirety of one charge just to defeat one enemy. This doesn't fill me full of confidence. Through my glory hole. 
I'll uh, try to shoot him, but I hadn't actually charged yet. Luckily, they're one shot each, and Latsky is a couple of spirit hearts. Yeah, it's one spirit heart, I think. Oh, 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 oh. We can take both of these, so I'm going to play this. Uh, I was supposed to play it twice, but I failed to. We can play him again. Anything? No. And then we'll take Gimpy and leave. I was hoping that thing would have paid out. It didn't. You know, move on. What a poor daily. Uh, I looked, by the way. Oh, jeez, I wasn't charged. Again. Oh, I'm still not charged. Help! <laughs> uh, Gimpy has this effect whereby you can't tell that you're charged up because you can't see your face anymore. Uh, I looked on Greed, but the highest score was in the 50,000s, I think. That's the highest legitimate score by the algorithms of legitimacy. I'm not quite sure why they don't apply those algorithms of legitimacy to the actual leaderboard in game. You know, if they have if they have a way of determining what's legit and what isn't, just put it out, you know? Use it. This is pissing me off. <laughs> I can't um I can't charge up in time to hit that thing. Because he's always spawned a fly before I get there. Dude, seriously. Kill it. I got hit anyway, I spent so long not getting hit. Pussyfooting my way around this sons of a bitches and they hit me anyway. Well, we'll be looking for a tears upgrade ASAP. Maybe in here? Uh, Spoonbender's fine, though. Hopefully we can uh, improve our range sufficiently to get a good benefit out of Spoonbender as Azazel. I don't think our tiny little brimstone gets a great benefit from Spoonbender, but maybe uh, a trinket or two, or just a range upgrade or two. I want to make the best of these shots because... <laughs> And why aren't you shooting? Well, it's because I want to actually shoot as many things as I possibly can. Hello, what, what uh, took that away? Does, does the halo of flies, which I don't remember getting, why have I got a halo of flies? Uh, wait a minute. I don't understand. What have I done to deserve these flies? Uh, there's more? Sorry. Excuse me. Does the halo of flies do damage to other flies. It must do, because I that fly died. Where did I get these flies from? I didn't take two pretty fly pills. I would have noticed. Oh, I've got Halo flies already. Look, it's at the bottom of the list on the right. I couldn't see it underneath. Was it the first thing I picked up? Maybe it was. Yeah, it would have been on the Curse of the Blind. I just didn't care. Blanked it. Oh, where are we? What's happening? Who am I? Shit. Oh, thank you, Gimpy. Making up for my fatal mistake there. It takes so long to charge up, we have to make the most out of each of these shots, but that involves putting ourselves in a dangerous situation, e.g. trying to do make awkward dodges. Ah, it wasn't charged. Trying to make awkward dodges or maneuvers that pass me by as many... Ooh, that could be good at some point. As many enemies as it can in one shot, just so that I don't waste the fact I spent five minutes charging the damn thing. And here's one of those bastards. Get out of it. Yeah, good. Alright, we'll charge one more. You didn't do anything. Well, they stick around long enough. Paralysis. Question marks. Paralysis. Ooh, look at me, I'm paralysis. I just cause time to be spent sometimes. Yeah. No. Let me know what it does. Faith up, I think it says. Whatever that means. Shot speed upgrade, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm protected from flies by flies, which is crazy, but true. It's crazy, but it's true. That does a lot of damage, so... Ooh. <laughs> Polyphemus. May have been an awkward... Uh, oh, jeez. I wasn't charged. I'm not going to take either, because I can't afford it. Um, Polyphemus was an amazing damage upgrade, but the... Amount of times we're not charged when we're trying to kill the enemies is becoming a little bit tedious. Uh, if you don't mind me saying so, we're going to try and get these things in. A, uh, try, try and kite them is what I'm saying, and then we can do them all at once, Ray. Rather than failing at under the attempted brimstone. Hopefully, by the time we get into a new room, we've charged up. And again, with this, we've got to do this sort of strafing maneuver like a Apache helicopter in that. Oh, what was that name of that game on the SNES? It wasn't just Apache, was it? Lemon Pie is good. 
But yeah, you were playing in a patch. <laughs> well, there's my tears upgrade I asked for. Uh, Nun's Habit. We don't even have a spacebar item, which is ironic considering how our daily run gave us nothing but. I'm going to donate as much as I can at this stage. Store upgrade level one. This is why we do it. Stores will now have four items. I think that gives us four items. I'm hoping that I'll just basically find a load more cash for the next store or this will break and save me from worrying about it. But getting this to 999 cents is going to be one of the goals that we have in this series. There's options. That's a really good item, actually. We've seen it in the dailies, and that was perfect time for it to fail. I'm just going to take the habit because it's good. We don't have a spacebar item, which is the only thing that it will benefit us with. You need a spacebar item because it will charge your item whenever you get hit. Uh, buy one room's worth of charge, but we don't have one. But we should get one. It's not uncommon, but it's not brilliant. Another curse of the blind. To go through an entire run not getting a spacebar item at all. I say it's not uncommon, it's reasonably uncommon. Often you'll get, if nothing else, Guppy's Paw, for example, but that doesn't really count because it doesn't have a charge time and it doesn't have consistent usefulness. It's just sort of a, a space filler, you know, it's a stocking filler. If you want to get with the season. We do need to do boss rush as Azazel, but Azazel is probably the easiest character to do boss rush as. As which to do boss rush? As whom to do boss rush? Choose your grammar. This is gram libs. Let's break it with that. Cuban meat also helps. Uh, 40 RNG is, again, fine if you have a use for it. That could be a secret room, but we don't have a bomb. So we've got a lot of things going for us that would really benefit having a spacebar item. We've got the battery, which will reduce the charge time on it by one room. We've got the habit, which will reduce the charge time on it whenever we get hit. We've got 48 hour energy pill, at least in our rotation, if not on us right now, and there's a battery on the floor as a result of it, which will completely refill it. So we can get something decent for how badly I'm doing, such as the uh, Book of Revelation or Satanic Bible, something that gives us HP. We can get at least 2 HP immediately. It's going to be difficult. Wow, I was too close to that, apparently. I always find Azazel very difficult when I first started playing, and that seems like a perfectly reasonable thing, because it's very difficult to get used to Azazel's range, because it's just on the edge of all explosions. I found it very... I did it again. You can see how difficult I am currently finding it not to take damage from explosions. We do have nine lives, actually. Maybe I should have taken something from the devil on the last floor. Ugh, I so can't tell when I'm charged up, it's unbelievable. I want to make the most of the charges, but I can't tell when I've got one. Let's try and use the uh, the old ball of bandage here. Yeah, there we go. Good, 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 good. We don't want to use the ball of bandages against things that explode, obviously. But it is a uh, very good amount of damage. Uh, offensive orbital. Wow. Careful. So. Good. So do use it whenever you can get away with it, I suppose, is the the mode of play here. Ow. I couldn't get away with that, but I tried anyway. I can get away with that, but I tried anyway. Look. With, with this brimstone thing that we've got going on. I'm looking for the item room, by the way. Why aren't you fighting the boss? Well, I'm hoping I get an item room that means I can charge the bloody item in a reasonable amount of time, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. God knows where the actual item room is. So we charged? You can just about see it flashing through the gimp mask, I suppose. Uh, yes. All of these, please. Less of the haunt, no. That's what I'm looking for, some of that. And now we have to dodge around until we can kill these things. Can we do it now? Yes. I mean, luckily the enemies do go down quickly once we're capable of actually shooting them. Case in point. You again. I feel like I'm fighting all of the worst enemies today. Oh, it wasn't ready. Whenever I'm flying around not doing anything, chances are I've tried to fire and failed. 
Uh, there's a no trinket as well. The no trinket prevents you from getting spacebar items, or at least very much reduces the chance that the item pedestals will have spacebar items on them. However, that is exactly what I would like right now. It's a spacebar item. Good. Question mark, Bill. Look down. Down. Not helpful. Where is this item room? He said, like Microsoft Sam from circa 2005. Where is this item room? Ooh. Why didn't you tell me? Uh, because it was shit. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for the fucking intel. Bastard. They ran into each other. They're so weak. I should have gotten both with one hit, really, but... It was destined not to be. Else it would have been. Uh, yeah, question mark. That's what I'm looking for. Milk. Jesus. I went to all that effort to find probably one of the worst items in the game. The only good thing about milk is that it's not holy water. And the only good thing about it not being holy water is that holy water is a shit item that appears in a good room. Whereas milk is a shit item that appears in normal room. Dark Oni. Wow. I only did half your HP. I'm disappointed, Dark Oni. Two hits. No deal with the devil again. Magic April. What is this bullshit? The world. Well, we'll use that on the next floor. Heavens above. We're not even fast enough for boss rush because I'm taking so much dumb damage. And of course I'm having to wait so long between uh, between shots. But I'm, I'm wasting time basically not firing because I didn't realise I couldn't. Let's try and use... Yeah. That was very, yeah, very risky, I guess. Cool. Temperance. We can use the temperance card whenever we decide to blow something up, I suppose. Ooh. Ooh. Do I keep my... I'll tell you what, we'll take this, because then we come back. Do I keep my eternal heart? That's the question. No. Okay. Well, that's okay. It's good to know. Um, I would have liked to have kept it, because then I would have had a bit more XP on the next floor. But we do have nine of these damn lives. Thank you, spiders, for actually getting the job done. Well, eight now. But as I'd forgotten on a previous floor, we can just use lives as currency for devil items, and we come back with red HP. Not spirit hearts. Which is replenishable, so if we take one piece of silly damage, we're okay. I nearly did then, actually. Well, we don't need to worry about actually taking damage. Continuum, no use. It's not continuum, that's the other one that looks like continuum, but isn't even continuum because it's a trinket, so I don't even know what it does. I mean, continuum's no use, but that's like pseudo poor man's continuum. Let's try not to die again. I know we've got eight lives, but we should probably use them for actual purposes. Rather than we should use them as currency on purpose, rather than just as lives because we're shit. We're dying. I found pills. Not great. Oh, we could probably stand to blow some of these up because we have a lot of bombs and not many spirit hearts anymore. Maybe we can get both of these at once. We can, but nothing came out of it. Temperance is still here. Put a, put that down when blowing stuff up, which was the plan, but I didn't. So. See me, I guess. Please, may I have a tears upgrade? Thank you, spiders, for dealing with that. Careful. Because I am really suffering from this not knowing when I can fire thing. I'm basically just waiting as long as I can be bothered waiting. <laughs> Firing at the end of it, and hoping for the best. Well, so much for shop upgrades. Uh, the ladder is obviously useless because we can indeed fly fly like you mean it. There's a chest which I haven't opened. Shall we open it? Yes. A key! Ooh, thank you. So proud. Uh, I guess we'll just go straight to the boss fight. I thought those were the other type of things and I fired at it and it was not. <laughs> oh, lame. Brim snapped. Help. That didn't even destroy these. And I didn't manage to fire. Look. If you can't find me a tears upgrade... I should have taken soy milk, shouldn't I? Would have been entertaining if nothing else. Brim popping all over the place. Brim popping, I've decided, is what happens when you use brim snapping to good effect rather than accidentally failing to fire at all. Yay! If I paid more attention to my own character, I suppose that would assist. Uh, could blow those up, I guess. I've got a lot of bombs. Six. Twice as many bombs as is necessary to blow all of those up. 
Apparently you can do it in two bombs, but I've never managed to uh, achieve this venerable honour. Uh, the poop! Wow! Well, it's a space for right? <laughs> now whenever we want to, we can waste our considerable charge time on a single item of poo. Nope. Yep. Yeah, worth it. I'd say that three bombs with three spirit hearts is absolutely worth the trade. Especially considering that you would probably spend one bomb on the chance for a spirit heart, which could actually turn out to be... Uh, a golden chest. And not be able to open it. Spending a bomb on getting a golden chest is usually shit. I should put temperance down there. Look, next time we look for a secret room, we will remember about the temperance card and place it. Okay? Pact. You and I must make a pact. We will bring secret rooms back. Right, now we can go and get the Book of Belial, which is actually the space for item that I wanted in the first place. And we'll go. Good, 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 good. We have our Temperance card to try and find a secret room. We have the Book of Belial to try and actually make even more value happen out of... This is a boss trap room, so I will, uh, case in point, do this. Now we can probably one-shot most bosses. Uh, unless they move, which is you know, not really what I'm here for. You can probably mo one shot most bosses that land, <sighs> provided with use Book of Belial. So, as long as we actually hit them with our, again, considerable charge time, which I think is probably the main reason I failed to do boss rush at the moment, because not to try and make excuses. Uh, I mean, why shouldn't I make excuses? I need to make an excuse, or I would have done it, right? Uh, but. Wow, good job. Failing to fire has caused me considerable pauses in many... Uh, not in the guppy way, of course. Um, or in many rooms. I've gone, wait, why didn't I fire? And then I've had to try again. At least Gimpy's gone away. I mean, Gimpy's still with us, it's just... To interrupt? Uh, the, the visual has abandoned us. Which I'm in favour of because... Uh, just go fuck yourself, Gimpy Visual Paralysis. Well, I'm gonna pick that up. Uh, it is a spirit heart. Is this a secret room? No. Is this a secret room? No. Whatever. I think we came up uh, with a profit from that because it didn't cost anything to go in. So half a spirit heart is half a spirit heart. It's half a spirit heart. Help. Ooh, that was gross. Why did I not get hit there? Good damn question. Probably because I was going to get hit there instead. The sun. Uh, yes. Just use it. Not too interested in this, but we'll explode it. Not too interested in that. Secret room. I had a raw liver. <laughs> Worth a try, right? You won't get it if you don't ask for it. I don't think raw liver's maybe been unlocked, actually, now I think about it. Wonder what... Wonder whether the secret room items need to be unlocked. Do you know it's been so long since I had to unlock anything, I don't remember what you have to unlock. I mean, I said that as though it was a almost unbelievable situation. How can this state of events come to pass? Uh, it's perfectly believable, and in fact, it seems like a reasonably legitimate concern. Really? Still not charged up. It does take a long time. How? Right, well, maybe I shouldn't have picked up Pisces. We did get a Tears Upgrade. Which is a uh, Tears Upgrade. Anything good in here? No. It's not even a bomb. What's this? Explosive. <laughs> exactly what we wanted. Uh, we'll take this. It's decent. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about. The Tears Upgrade uh, obviously makes our charge time lower. But the knockback is actually being applied, especially to flying enemies, which is not really what I was after. Light enemies, I suppose. You charge it? You charge it? How about now? How about now? How about now? Okay, good. We have a full suite of orbitals. That's uh, three. Excuse me, princess. Uh, yes, we have three orbitals, one of which is truly defensive. Offensive. Offensive, yes. Uh, and two of which are defensive, but apparently work against flies. Maybe here? Uh, no bombs. Right. 
one shot. No, oh, because you went away. Damn you, mom. And now we have to wait for a charge. Be here forever. Don't make me... Uh, I don't want to have to destroy everything on the screen to get mom to pop up again. Let's just use the orbital. Let's do that. Uh, because I don't want to have to charge up again. There we go. We do a lot of damage when we get the opportunity. Oh, we should walk into mom as well, to be fair. She doesn't do contact damage. Uh, this is this is decent. Synth oil is fine. Damage and range. We do want range as uh, as Azel. I will take contract from below on the theory that I'm wanted. Uh, no boss rush, of course. For some reason, I got two charges for beating mom. Uh, thanks, but no. I mean, I used Book of Belial on the floor, on the room, and now I have a full charge again. It's interesting. Interesting indeed. Yep. Coins. Well, we may make Hush happen. Doesn't seem too like. Well, it could be likely because obviously we didn't do boss rush, so we didn't spend the time in boss rush. So, wasting time. Let me step over here, wait for all these things to pop up at once. Great, that didn't really go to plan, but you can see what I was trying to do there. Which is the same thing I've been trying to do for the entire bloody game. Uh, which is to help uh, get as much use as I can out of a single hit from this inordinately long brimstone charge. It's still screwing me over to this very day. And it's a full heart for all damage that we take. Uh, do we know where we're going now? So, we do need to be careful about that. Because I've only got one hit left in me. Eight lives! But, you know, if it takes your full life to beat a rune, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, because you won't be able to actually beat that rune. Because you take a full... If you if you can't do a room without getting hit once, you're not going to be able to do the room no matter how many lives you've got. And there are rooms like that, especially at this level. Wow, that was actually ready. I thought it wasn't ready, so I withdrew my attack and started again. Shouldn't have. There's a, a tinted rock over here, so if you could see a way to do the exploding. No, 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 exploding. I'll do it myself. Fine. Oh, now you're fucking. Doesn't matter. I wasn't looking for a golden chest, um, if, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I guess I'll... Holy shit! <laughs> I see, genuinely didn't expect that to happen. I jumped slightly. Right. Charge, brimstone, kill sloth. Charge, brimstone, kill sloth. Really? I'm mildly perplexed that that actually did that much damage to me. Like, that it could hit me from there. What am I even in here for? I can't remember. I wanted one of these cards, right? This one, maybe. Two of diamonds, sure. Not that it helps. This isn't greed mode. The Emperor and two of diamonds. Well, we've got 99 cents now, so well done me, I suppose. Was it worth it? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's pretend it was worth it. <laughs> that was a very risky place to stand. <sighs> right, deep breaths. We could Emperor this room floor, but I think... Maybe we should Emperor the Cathedral? Uh, are we even going there? We didn't pick up... No. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy thinking about the fact that we don't have um, the uh, Polaroid or negative unlocks. So we're not actually going to the Cathedral. I wonder where the Hush opens if you're not going beyond Hush. Because if you can't go beyond Hush... There's nowhere for yes. the... Uh, maybe you just end the game at Hush. Maybe it gives you a chest rather than... See, normally, as you've seen on the dailies, when you beat Hush, you go down to the next floor. And if you can't go down to the next floor, Hush doesn't open. So if the daily ends at... Um... This isn't XL, is it? No. If the daily ends at... Mom's heart, or it lives... That's it. You can't do Hush because Hush requires you to go down to the next floor. Whereas you'd expect that if that was going to 
be a mechanic in the game, then the host fight would just give you the trophy. But it is not the game. These fucking teleporting bastards. I'm not even going through that room, I'm going to end for it. Just beat Skolex. Wow, careful. This charge time is still killing me. I have to try and beat Skolex. <laughs> Despite these bastards. Oh, great. Perfect. Run away! Try not to get hit by Skolex. Try and hit it, even though I have this brimstone bullshit going on. Don't get hit by... Okay, here we go. Good. Deal with the devil, because we've got the go-ahead. I'll take the pentagram for one life. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're in here again. I don't want to be. Speed upgrade doesn't really help. Maybe I should have used my Book of Belial. Whatever. Damage is not a problem, and Book of Belial gives us damage. But guess what else are we going to do with our lives? It's not like we had the opportunity to pick up anything else. Better, anyway, as a spacebar item. And really, the problem with the Book of Belial is that it's not actually hugely useful, which, as far as problems go, is not a great problem. It's not a problem to complain about. You know, not using an amazing item is not a thing to have a problem with. What is this, uh thing on my cheek all of a sudden. Now we just have to get rid of these bastards, which I'm not quite sure how to do. <laughs> well, I obviously am sure how to do it. I'm going to use my <laughs> cube of meat again. Help. Okay. Uh, why are these things spawning? I didn't think they spawned. I thought that just sat around until you killed it. Right, good. <sighs> it's... <sighs> It's one of those times where if you fuck up, you really fuck up. Because if you think you've killed something and you haven't, you're going to walk into it. This is a common mistake that I make all the time, is to think that something's dead and it's not. And the ease with, ooh, the ease with which I can think that something's dead uh, with this brimstone thing going on. I think I'll use this now. Because I'm going to think that I fired, and I haven't fired. Because if I charge at something with my brimstone going, it's basically going to die, right? If I charge at something without my brimstone going, I'm going to die. Which is the uh, the wrong thing. Shouldn't really need to explain that much. Wow, that was <laughs> excellent timing. I suppose with three orbitals, I'm at least reasonably safe from these attacks. Uh, but I just have to wait for it to charge up and then try and do this... Patchy strafing that I've been doing all game. Desert Strike. It was called Desert Strike. Uh. Fuck. I took damage against the easiest enemy. Because I tried to use my orbital to beat it. Now we've got to spend another 20 minutes with Miss Hush. So I guess that's a move. Uh. What? Alright, there's a there's a hit available to us. I've forgotten about Gimpy. Well the Gimpy's been really helping us in any situation so far. Come on now. Just be patient. I'm having, I'm losing patience. Uh, understandably, I think. I, you know, I don't want to say that losing patience at this point is necessarily the wrong thing, because this is extremely frustrating. Maybe I should not. Maybe this is the one time you don't pick up polyphemus, because if you don't get an amazing tier stat to go up, to, to go along with it, well, what are you going to do? Wow, careful. I mean, I don't have to hit them for very much of the of the lifetime of the beam. You see, I just have to hit them with the beam. <laughs> it takes so long to generate a beam, it's like the Death Star. Okay, good. Again, with this. By the time I've made a beam, I thought I was dead, so I took my hands off the keyboard. Um, I... They've charged me. Okay. You should be easy enough to get with the ball of bandages, he says. Almost... Fucking failing to get them with the ball event. There's a slight deceleration now. How am I not used to this deceleration on these characters that I'm playing? You know, you, you stray fast an enemy, it de you decelerate. That's how it works. That's how it's worked since time began. One of these, per one of these, is just. It's, it's, oh, it's torture! A single health upgrade would have been ideal at some point by now, but I've used all my lives. 
Just on that stupid room where I was too impatient. Wow, careful. Oh, so many HPs dropping. I wasn't charged, again. I thought I was firing and, and I didn't. I have to be careful with the... Oh, it's a good thing we're not going to the cathedral. There's no way I'd survive the exploding versions of these things. Still not charged. <laughs> good, 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 good. Right, just don't get hit. It's as simple as that. Don't get hit. You know how you normally get hit? Don't do that. Good. Oh, more HP. Wow, thank you. I'm so good. HP. HP. Pretty fine. No. 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 Ah! Oh. Lemon party, I guess, might help? Mom's heart. Wow. It's not even, uh, it lives. Whatever. Let's move on from this. Not quite sure what the difference between the two enemies is. Finally had enough of a charge to fire at that thing. Yes, kill your own enemies. Uh, minions are perfect. We did use our Book of Belial. I was not entirely certain. We really need to get as much damage done as we can for each one of these shots. It's going to be so difficult not to get hit right now. Ooh, what did the devil want to give us? i oh, tripped down. Well, we've beaten Mom's heart with... Zazel. So that's the thing on the postcard. We unlock Wrapped Baby, which is a multiplayer baby. Rubber Cement is really good. Co-op, maybe not multiplayer, although co-op is a form of multiplayer, yeah, sure. Whoa, not ready. Chill out, leave me alone. Wow, really got to avoid that shot. I've got to do that again, with two of the fuckers. On my back. Good, done. Phew. That was actually a really difficult room, because you... Having oh these fuckers, we fought you enough times today. Um, yeah, dealing with a fallen fight when you can't get hit and you've got such a long charge time, it leaves them on the on the scene for too long to really be comfortable with it. Oh, right, tinted drop. No tinted drop. You're joking. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm just gonna have to accept it, right? Grant me the strength to accept the things I cannot change. Etc. There's one here. Oh, good, good, good. I'm gonna use this to try and sort of one-shot the bastard. And his minion. I did. I did. I did. Good. And we had one bomb left for one spirit heart. It's not really enough. It's just gonna make me think that I can get hit. I can't get hit still. <sighs> well, nothing up there. Curse of the lost. Thanks for uh, thanks for being here today. I, I can't fire. There's no way I can make the best out of these. Oh, it gave me it back! Thank you! I can't really be efficient with these bastards. Because they just pop up wherever they want to. Oh, if I'd left it going, I would have got him as well. Where are you? Come on. I'm day. I genuinely probably do. Lokis. I'll, uh, I'll try and dead them before they dead me. Stop teleporting. It's not polite. Man. We haven't really... Uh, I think Pisces was our one tiers upgrade so far. I don't know if... I don't think Head of the Keeper is the tiers upgrade. At least I think I'd know if it were. Wow, careful. An invisible enemy. Which I can't see. Oh, Gimpy! Yes! Bomb. Guppy's head. Yeah. I think Guppy's head might actually be a really good item for us because our flies would do such an amount of damage. Genuinely something to write home about. Well, now nah, fuck that one up. Uh, oh, apparently we have not done this room. I'm trying to keep my orbital here between me and the enemies on the theory that by doing so uh, any shots that they make or any Proximity to me that they become can be sort of counteracted. Jesus fucking Christ! Look at this room. Have you seen this fucking room right now? 
This is going to be chock full of flies and shit. I can one shot these things, sure. That's not really the issue here. The issue is that that one shot takes so long to charge, so there's going to be minions all up in the way. And I've got to be careful of these spiders that have sort of littered the screen that I can't see. Four of them. With, charge, with this charge time? In these heels? I'm just using my... Uh, I'm, I'm very, very sensitively <laughs> trying to let the spiders walk at me whilst I've got my ball of bandages pointed at them. Thereby avoiding... Ooh. Thereby avoiding the possibility... Probably should be using Book of Balal here. Um, but... Wow. Uh, I walk into them. <laughs> I was talking about spiders ages ago. Do you remember that when I was talking about my uh, my play with the spiders and the wall of bandages? Oh, brim snapped. You can't afford to brim snap with this. Oh, there we go. Look. <laughs> what did we get done? Let's have a look at Azazel now. Just mom's heart. There isn't even a mom thing on the post-it note. Oh well, we got win streak of zero, so that's great. Well, thank you for joining me. I decided to just play a random run because I was salty with the uh, daily. So that wasn't a daily, but it kind of was a daily, so I'll probably put it in the daily thing and call this a bonus episode. But thank you for watching. Do come again tomorrow when hopefully I'll be good at this game again. <laughs>